Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the Rumple One. Loggers have been here today, so we started on logging. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk you around. You can see the uh, progress here. Remember that big tree? Well, we cut that one down. Remember that big one over here by my uh, apple tree, my little bench that I got to fix? See, that tree was too close to the house, and if the wind blew the wrong way or lightning hit it, it could have fell on the house. So we cut that one down. And the brush pile is definitely bigger. And I've been making firewood. Probably burn that tonight. Even though it is August, it's got a little cold last night. And I've been cutting this up. And you see here, I've been whittling away. But here's where the progress has really been made. Is back here. Look at that view. Remember those two big, big old firs? Well, we took them out. So you see now, it's all nice and clear around the house. Even got a view, so I got more sunshine, but what I don't have are leaves falling on my roof. So when I collect my rainwater, I'll have some clear water. But you can see how that all got thinned out. I had to take this tree down. So you see here, got a nice little view of the hills. That's where they run sheep. Yeah, as you can see, it's added to my uh, cleanup work, but I got lots of firewood there. Just have to cut it up, and as you can see, we got a thousand gallon water tank here. That's for fire safety. And then we got a big old caterpillar skitter. That's what they use to drag the logs. It's articulated. It's pretty cool. The wheels stay straight. It bends in the middle. It definitely does the job though, hauling logs. I'll take you on down to the landing. Hopefully I got enough battery power left. But it's a nice day to... It's a Sunday, but you have to make hay while the sun shines. A nice warm day. Definitely worked up a sweat running the chainsaw and the pole saw and the loppers. But, and I'll have to bring them loppers out here again and the pole saw. Cut some of these trees back. Some of them might get taken away. A nice little little project, and then when it's all done, I'll come in and have them reblade my driveway, lay down some new rock, have a nice driveway. Got to have it at least 13 feet wide so the fire trucks can get up here in case of fire. So I'll make sure it's nice and wide. I think they need about 13, 14 feet overhead too. So we're gonna clear that out. And, and remember all that ugly brush and gorse when you came down the hill? Well, guess what? Skitter pushed it all back. And there's a couple of trees right here. I don't know if you remember what it looked like, but it's all gone now. And he laid down some logs here. So once we get a big enough pile, bring in the self-loader. 
and it's off to the mill. They'll get used for plywood. So that's the uh, ranch update for today. So all that firewood, I'm going to prepare to stay warm <laughs> this winter. Because see, if I fail to prepare, then I'm preparing to fail. That's Ben Franklin. And I say, if you fail to prepare today, you're preparing to fail tomorrow. That's the rumple one. <laughs>